Well, the soaring popularity of e-cigarettes is undoing years of progress in youth tobacco control efforts. The CDC is blaming e-cigarettes like Juul or vapes for an increase in teen tobacco use. Nearly 5 million middle and high school students use some form of tobacco. That is up from 3.6 million just two years ago. The issue is growing so big the FDA has threatened to ban flavored e-cigs unless manufacturers come up with a plan to keep them out of kids' hands. Well, tonight, a new strategy to crack down on vaping and tobacco products is being put into place in Baldwin County. Daphne Police now issuing citations to students caught with nicotine products on campus. NBC 15's Corey Pippen is live tonight with what parents have to say about this measure to keep the substance out of the hands of children. Greg Kim, these citations carry fines up to $50 as well as possible court costs associated with that. Daphne, parents I spoke to say they support anything that keeps these addictive substances from their children. It's being called an epidemic. Vaping continues to hit all-time highs among teens, ushering in national efforts to stop the product from getting in the hands of youth. Tonight, Daphne police are cracking down, issuing citations to any student caught on campus with e-cigarettes or tobacco products. Dion Gatson's son goes to Daphne Middle School. He says he's in favor of the move. Being a therapist, I, I work with a lot of teenagers, and it's, it's, it used to be just in high school, but now I'm starting to see those trends and those reports by parents, even in the middle school setting. So it's definitely happening, and it's definitely a concern for our community. Daphne school officials sent out this letter to parents after police began the program last month. Previously, any student found vaping or using a tobacco product would only face disciplinary action within the school. Now they could be responsible for fines ranging from $10 to $50, as well as possible court costs. No parent wants their child using substances or, more, more importantly, getting addicted to substances. Most e-cigarette devices are easy to hide, and so is the vapor it produces. Megan Burke's daughter is a freshman at Daphne High School. You can't go to the bathroom without seeing it, so it's definitely peer pressure, and everybody's doing it. That's what I'm hearing. So if parents have to get more involved, and that's what has to happen. Other parents agree. I think it's a good thing that the police are stepping in and stopping the teenagers from breaking the law and being examples for younger children. Now I'm told vaping or tobacco devices found will be confiscated and parents will be notified. I reached out to every other police department in Baldwin County to see if they've implemented similar strategies, but it appears Daphne police are the first to do so. Reporting live in Daphne tonight, I'm Corey Pippen, NBC 15 News. Corey, thank you. Fairhope High School Principal John Cardwell says they take up an average of three baked devices a week. And when they do confiscate them, Cardwell says those students are also suspended.